Okay, so my friend Twig sent me an audio file that he'd recorded that had a lot of uh, hum in it, some kind of weird line noise or, or something. I don't know what the issue was. Uh, and he asked me if he thought that, uh, or if I thought that he could fix it using the plugins from Isotope's RX plugin pack. Uh, I think that uh, it definitely includes the RX dialog denoiser plugin, the uh, denoiser plugin that I use all the time that I really, really love. Or if I thought that he should buy the RX-5 audio editor, which I have right here, if there were any features or plugins in this guy that would fix the problem better. So I went ahead and did some testing and I discovered, uh, just to cut all of that, I discovered that a couple instances of the uh, dialog denoiser plugin inside of Logic would actually be the best bet along with an expander plugin. So I'll walk you through that in a second. But uh, the takeaway here is that if you have the RX plugin pack, the, the, the dialog denoiser is fantastic for taking out background hum and noise, but it can't fix everything. So in this case, I'll let you listen to this, uh, this sample that he sent me. You'd really like to get an entire run through of the process to try to understand what's going to happen when as much as possible. Of course, some people wouldn't want to have that, but in this sense, You'd really like to get an entire run through. So the first thing I noticed is that the buzz is almost as loud as his voice. And that's a problem. Um, it looks like the, the track was recorded just a little bit too quiet. Maybe that was something with the settings. I'm not entirely sure what equipment Twig, what Twig was using to record this. But uh, so here's, here's what I decided after doing some testing. The best thing to do would be to put an expander on it first with the settings set kind of low, negative 36, 38 dB, uh, ratio 70 to 1, knee, that's about right. And then just leave the makeup gain on auto and leave it at zero. So that does this. You'd really like to get an entire run through of the process to try to understand what... Makes the whole track a little bit quieter, but also pulls some of that line noise out. And then just put... put three dialog denoiser plugins on it what's going to happen when as much as possible threshold kind of high wouldn't want to have reduction that, well they're both kind of in the middle of trying boosting the gain a little bit on the way out because it's still very quiet it needs to be hitting uh negative 12 to negative 6 when we export so and then a second plugin much the same boosting the gain a little bit it's possible to the higher run through of the process to try to understand Getting better, you could probably leave it at that. I went ahead and added a third one, which is a little bit lower threshold and reduction, just a little bit more gain. So that sounds like this. You'd really like to get an entire run through of the process to try to understand what's going to happen when as much as possible. So just for an A-B test. You'd really like to get an entire run through of the process. to try to understand what's going to happen when as much as possible. So it's not great and there's still a little bit of crunchiness, but it's definitely not as pervasive uh, in the final product as it was originally. So I hope that helps a lot. Uh, I will say the RX Dialog Denoiser plugin is phenomenal. If you have a track with a lot of background noise or line noise on it, it can do a really good job of removing some of that, especially if you stack multiple dialog denoisers on top of each other in your plugin chain. That's a trick I use pretty often actually and it it's uh, it, it's kind of magical. It works really really well. So basically Twig, I don't think you need to buy RX5 unless you really really think you'll use it. I think the plugins that come with the RX plugin pack are more than enough to not fix this problem but alleviate a little bit uh, to reduce that noise a little bit. So I hope that was useful. If you have questions about anything of anything I talked about today, or if there's any other videos that you'd uh, like me to do, leave a comment below, hit like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, you can learn more about podcasting and audio stuff. I do a podcast about it at thepodcastdude.com. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.